Welcome back to the performance video training series. Within design mode, the import section in the modal toolbar is used to bring completed system designs directly into the performance workspace. Performance will import compatible systems designed in Venue Synthesis as well as Line Array Calculator 3. The import process begins by designing a compatible system in either software and saving the design file to a known location. In Performance, select the Import File button from the Import section in the toolbar and the file browser will open. Select the file from the browser window and click Open. System groups with supported devices will populate into the Import section of the toolbar. Any system group can be expanded to view the arrays that make up the group. For Venue Synthesis files, which can contain multiple system groups, each group will populate into the Import section with the group name and color set from Venue Synthesis. For LAC, to better support system import, a new Number of Arrays control has been added to the Mapping tab within the application. Although this control has no effect on the acoustic prediction within LAC, it will set the array quantity being saved into the Import section of the file. With a file loaded, drag each system group from the Import section into the workspace. Organize the system groups, then set each control IDs as usual. Along with system group configuration data, imported devices will be brought into performance with any DSP settings made in the design software, including preset, gain, delay, calibration filters, and the model's atmospheric settings. After importing a system group, it is possible to update the imported array with new data from Venue Synthesis or LAC. To make an update, first save the changes to the design file. Back in Performance, press the Refresh button next to the imported file. This will reload the file data. Next, drag the updated system group over the header of an existing array within the workspace. If the only changes to the group are DSP related, it is possible to choose which DSP parameters are updated and which will remain unchanged. Any box kept checked will be overwritten. If changes to box count or array quantity have been made, all of the DSP data from the imported file will need to overwrite the existing data in the file. If changes were made to the device type, performance will reject the group update. Instead, a new system group will need to be created and can be done by simply dragging the system group directly into the workspace from the import window. Thank you for watching.